Well, several factors uh, affecting the U.S. market uh, in terms of Apple sales. Uh, the, probably the first uh, change is the consolidation on the retail buying side. Uh, supermarket chains uh, have been buying each other, the bigger getting bigger, uh, and as a result of that, uh, the expectations they have on all of us as suppliers have gotten uh, more difficult to deal with, more stringent. Uh, there's just no room to make a mistake uh, anymore. You have to be absolutely on your game uh, and delivering exactly what they want with every single uh, load of fruit. Uh, the other, I think, big change is on the production side and, and actually what we're delivering to market. And so what we increasingly see is that the, the old legacy varieties of Red Delicious, Golden Delicious, uh, maybe to a lesser extent uh, Macintosh, uh, those varieties are falling out of favor with consumers. As a result, they're falling out of favor with retailers. And so uh, we're seeing that shift occur with uh, retailers having much uh, higher interest in things like Gala and Fuji and Honeycrisp, but they expect those Honeycrisp to be uh, red. They, well, they won't take green Honeycrisp anymore. They expect Galas to be 100% red. They want red Fujis. And so it just speaks to the, the change in that production base that we know we've got to have the very best genetics uh, so that we can compete with uh, some of those newer varieties. Really, in terms of increasing consumption, the industry is doing uh, very little. I mean, there's there's uh, individual shippers are certainly doing things to produce better products. They're certainly doing things to try and um, cement the relationships they have with their customers, putting the very best product on the shelf for consumers. You know, we're all doing those things. But as far as an action of driving consumption. Um, there's really not much going on out there. I mean, it's just so expensive to uh, compete in that arena. So you don't you don't see much going on, and I think that's reflected in the per capita consumption statistics. Competition is not going to go down; uh, it's going to continue to ramp up. So the first thing I'd be looking at is that to the extent that I'm producing, let's call it a mainstream variety. Uh, Who's my customer and what are the demands of those customers? Uh, it's very, very difficult to compete solely on price. So uh, that becomes an assessment of what your production capabilities are within those, those sort of the mainstream varieties. And I'm talking about Reds, Golds, Galas, Fujis, uh, et cetera, Granny Smith. Uh, second piece would be where do, you, where do you stack up in some of the new club brands? Uh, I think that's an increasingly important piece of the portfolio because it creates differentiation and hopefully it allows an opportunity to, uh, to capture incremental revenue in the orchard because you're not selling at the commodity price. Uh, you're selling at a price that's, that's much higher than the commodity price uh, because you're delivering something unique to that supermarket and consumer.